Show. This is PA from Los Angeles. I represent Rockin' the Nation crew, West Coast artists, and the last two stylists. I'm one of LA's pioneers, or I'm like the, the baby of the pioneers, because as I was coming up, I learned from like the masters out here in LA. And um, you know, I've been doing uh, this kind of art form since 1982 when I was nine years old. And um, pretty much, I've seen a lot of different phases of the art form take place. Yeah. But you know, through time, uh, in LA, as far as doing these kind of murals or doing murals in general, uh, a lot of this stuff wasn't taking place back then in the old days in yeah, LA. Yeah. But at a, at a certain point. You would have like certain artists that was getting commissioned to do, uh, you know, storefronts, uh -huh. you know, in a local area, neighborhood. I, I come from South Central Los Angeles, so that, you know that's where I learned a lot of my technique and skills from. But since you know, as an artist, I've been able to travel around LA yeah. and learn from uh, different artists. You know, not just people where I came from, but people from the west side of LA, east yeah. side. The north and the south. Let's see. Some of those guys are still painting. Yeah. Some of them not. Like some of them, that they got older. I guess they moved on to different things. But then you still have some people that was like real good. Uh -huh. But uh, LA have a lot of good people from all over, all over. Yeah. But in those times, like the people who really made an impact was uh, they start with South Central right quick. There was a guy named Clever. Uh -huh. He's passed away, so we would say rest in peace to him. Uh, Clever. His crew was called the Deaf Crew. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good people came from up out of that crew, like uh, a guy named Sphere. Yeah. But he called himself OG Abel now. He do okay. uh, little miniature toys and he got his clothing line. Oh, he's got that going on? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That. He had my other buddies from, a, from the original L2S, uh -huh. which was Mark 7, Sane, Center, Riot, Made. Those guys were yeah. like the pioneers of certain styles in the mid, we call it mid city area. Mid, uh -huh. mid city area. Uh, those guys was like the pioneers of, of a certain type of style that collaborated with the Deaf Crew. Yeah. Uh, from East LA, you would have people like, um, or downtown East LA area, uh, you would have the K2S Crew, which was okay. uh, Prime One, Prime, Deffer, Skep, Relic, Temp, and Slick, and you know a couple of other people okay. that that pioneer styles over there. Uh, so I seen uh, Slick a little while, maybe a couple oh, yeah. of years, maybe three years ago, uh -huh. and I didn't realize he was behind the clothing line stuff. He's third he rail. Toys and stuff, yeah, yeah, he's you know huge. Uh, yeah, Slick is a good artist, but then like there was a lot of people like Slick. Yeah. He bought like the the three dimensional realistic characters to LA. Like okay. he developed that. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't the only one that was doing that back then. Yeah. But he he took it to a different level. He had another. He had um, two other guys in LA that sort of mastered that, which was uh, Rev from KSN. He's like Hollywood, Venice Beach area. Uh huh. He had another guy named Green from uh, Carson. Yeah. And he was a real talented artist that that sort of pushed doing uh, three dimensional characters to a different level. So those three people, I would say, like are the ones who pioneered in LA the three dimensional characters. Everybody else after that was copying off of them or inspired <laughs> off of other artists. Um, um, you know, so what do you think about stencils and what do you think about like paintbrushes and stuff? Uh, in, in my opinion, stencils. I mean, the the art form of stencils is cool because you know I don't see nothing wrong with the art form of stencils. Yeah. Because I've seen some real, well, I've seen like some of the best of the best. Yeah. Like do some real good stencils. One of LA's the <laughs> top person with stencils, his name was Kisser. Kisser. I mean, he was from a group called KTL. Mm. And KTL stood for um, Kill the Light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he was one to me. And I don't know what the rest of the people in LA would say, but he's one of LA's best. You know, right. you know, there were other people who made an attempt at it, but they didn't do it the way he did it. Right. This guy would like do the whole bus spin, and he would do visuals that were like like a big giant picture. Wow. Like a lot of people do small stencils now. Like, we're here in the Hollywood area. I yeah. see people like doing big stencils. Like I don't know how they doing it. Maybe they might be uh, putting it on that uh, that stick of paper and they rolling it yeah, up yeah. like a billboard. Or yeah, something yeah. Like that. But. Uh, are using rollers and paintbrush on the paint, that's okay. Like like we use a, a roller to do the background, that's nothing but yeah. I mean but if you're an artist you should be able to use whatever tool you want, but it depends on like if you're doing like straight graffiti art with letters and characters and you trying to use it up in there. Yeah. 
you defeating the purpose of your can control technique of mastering like like hitting from line to line exactly. and phase and all that because you know this is our tool versus the paintbrush. Yeah. I mean when we doing canvases we could we could use combinations of that because yeah. there's only so much we could do with a can on the canvas, but I seen like people do like canvases this small. All spray paint. Yeah. And they do some amazing work. Uh, if you, like, over in Europe, you know what I'm saying? Like, people like Mo2, people like uh, Dane, uh -huh. how they be doing, like, all these humongous three dimensional. Yeah. That's crazy. They're incredible. Yeah. You know? So, for the people who look at, like, look at this graffiti art form in a way where they say, well, you know, use the brush, like, but, but look at the amazing things that a person can do with a kid. Sure. Each artist is different, you uh -huh. know. Like when I do a mural, I give, I put my all into it. Like there are, there's murals that I might do where they might have me paint another artist's work up because he don't do spray paint work, but he do like designs real good. Yeah, yeah. And so when I approach it, I, I do what the artist is just giving me on paper, but I put my little special touch to it to yeah. push it a little step further if if it if it needs that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I, I try to to respect the other artists and don't. Uh, they style in it too much to, to where it, it'll look like I'm like trying to insult them some kind of way. Alright man. Thank you very much. It's been informative, you know. Uh, I'm gonna give you my uh, web blog link and everything. Okay. You can just see it out there. Uh, at this point. I need to start Yeah, yeah, I'm about to. Alright, you put that back in the envelope right there.